Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mobile video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to build your Divi Mobile menus using our Divi Mobile plugin. What we're going to cover in this video is to show you something about how to use the custom header section of Divi Mobile by building our very own mobile menu. Please check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for more specific details on Divi Mobile or you can definitely contact our amazing support team for more complex issues. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're going to go to Appearance, Customize, Divi Mobile, and then Custom Header. And before we start, I just want to clear up two things that I think you should know. Divi Mobile saves the menu you build to your active theme. Therefore, if you make any changes to your active theme or your child theme or like swapping them out for something else or a different child theme, you'll need to rebuild your menu. The second thing is that due to the way that WordPress has been built, there may be times where your live preview mode does not instantly load, meaning that you might not see the changes immediately. If you find this happening, hit that publish button and reload the page, and then you should see your work. Okay guys, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to get going is click this yes button underneath create a custom header. And basically all this does, it tells Divi Mobile that I want to build my own header. Okay, and the next step is to scroll down to the custom logo header area here. You can hit that big plus button to either go select a logo that you uploaded earlier from the media gallery, or you can upload one right now. You'll also notice that there's a second area for a logo, and you might want to swap it out to have a different contrast of color, but you only use that really if you're going to be making changes to your scroll menu. Okay, so with our logo working just fine, we're going to go ahead and start styling the header using the header height and the logo size. For the custom header height, we're going to keep that at 80, the logo max height, though, we're going to change and we're going to make that 70 and the max width 100. Now, I also want this background color to be completely white. So with our background color already set to white, we don't need to make a change there. But we'll scroll down to the background header shadow color and we'll set that to FFF, which is the hex color code for white. Now, Divi Mobile also gives you the ability to keep your header visible as the user scrolls down the page, also known as a sticky header or fixed header. To enable this, all we need to do is click yes here, where it says fixed menu on scroll. Now we also want to style the header on scroll and make it look the same as the header does before we scroll. Now to do that, all we need to do is make a few small changes because as you can see, when I scroll down, my fixed header has weird spacing there. So to do that, we're just gonna adjust the custom header height on scroll to 80 as it was in the other one. We're gonna make our logo max header height on scroll 70. And then what we need to do is we need to change this hamburger position to 10 pixels. And now you see it looking exactly like it did before. So when you scroll to the top of the page, minimal difference between the two, and it looks fantastic. Also, scrolling through the settings here, you'll see that there are a lot of settings that pertain to your cart icons, different settings regarding the logo, search icon, many different things. Feel free to play with those and make your site look exactly the way you want with a super nice custom look. Okay guys, just that quick note again. If your page is not showing a preview reflecting the changes we just made, definitely go ahead and publish that page again and reload it to make sure that those changes do get reflected. The changes are made, but there's a weird goof with WordPress and the way that it was coded that prevents that live preview from showing every time. Now, it's also possible that you need to preview this from a mobile device or any type of device that's not logged into the backend of your WordPress site. So again, this is just something, one of the quirks with WordPress and not actually something relating to Divi Mobile. But yeah, don't stress out, just publish again and you should be fine. All right guys, that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching this video on how to use Divi Mobile and definitely check out our documentation if you're stuck on something at help.diviengine.com or contact our amazing support team that will be sure to help you out. Thank you, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.